Hi everyone, when you are uh, facing the code interview, then you might face most of the questions uh, on uh, error.prototype.methods like error.prototype.map, filter, reduce, uh, there are four each, some, every, all these methods, they will give you just a JSON object, you need to play around with that JSON object and give us the final output which is based on some conditions. So you can use a map, filter, reduce, all these methods. So I already have published uh, JavaScript tips and tricks and I'm talking about each and every methods of error or prototype in detail. What all possible questions can be like removing the uh, duplicates, removing the null undefined values from the array, rotating the array, okay, removing the duplicates or uh, removing the even numbers, odd numbers from the array, uh, reversing a string, okay, uh, searching, sorting, all these different questions can be there. Removing the duplicates, you can use just a directly set Removing the duplicates can be done in 100 different ways in arrays or uh, string. So let's uh, talk about this now. So you will face a lot of questions on the object object cloning, how you uh, compare two objects, how you can clone one object into another object, the shallow copy of object, deep copy of object, how you can do a reference copy or how you can do a deep copy where you change the object text doesn't impact the object file. So how can you clone an object? Deep copy it is, json.parse. So first stringify the first object and json.parse it again. So it will be a deep clone, okay? Then we have object.assign. Object.assign is introduced in ES6. So we used uh, create empty object and pass the object. Uh, it's an, another alternative. Or you can just iterate on an object, object.keys in this object and use the reduce methods and each and every property assign that to the new object, okay? Uh, there are multiple different ways you just iterate on for in loop on an object get each and every key value pair and keep assigning that to the another object you also need to check if the key is again represented so consider the object is a nested object then you need to call the same method recursively deep copy okay how do you compare two objects uh, another inter in interesting questions either you can just do a json dot signify both the objects and just do a triple equals or you just uh, do a triple equals directly on the object or you just convert that into the stringify convert that into the string and do a triple equals on both the string or if you wanted to compare the content of both the objects then you need to iterate on both the objects and you need to check that both the object has those keys or not right you can just check the length of uh, the properties defined in an object and then keep comparing them Okay, what is chorus? Cross origin request sharing. So sometimes when your front end, uh, which is working on hello world.com is talking to hello world one.com, then you see this kind of problem, right? Because uh, your front end is on domain X and you are actually getting the data from domain Y, then in that case, chorus issue will introduce, right? So cross origin request sharing is a mechanism that uses additional HTTP header to grant the browser a permission to talk to a different server and get the data for your website. Okay, this CSS box model is a favorite question and you should be aware of uh, each and everything about this. So content, uh, the inner content part. So this is the box model where we have a margin, border, padding and content. So there are multiple ways of dealing with this kind of problem. So box model, box model is whenever you create a div, right? Every div will have this kind of a box model. Where you, when, when you put a padding margin for that div, you can see the padding is inwards, margin is uh, uh, kind of outside, outside the border. So first of all the content, then we have padding. Outside padding, we have the border of that element and then we have the margin, right? So these are the three blocks, three uh, padding, border, margin creates a box model for a particular div. So you can see the padding, the transparent area surrounded, uh, surrounding the content, right? Uh, and then border the area surrounding the padding and the margin the area surrounding the border of the particular div what is a dom a uh, basic question is a dom is a document object model and what are the different ways using which you can traverse the dom so we you have document dot query selector document dot query selector document dot get element by id document dot get element by tag name document dot get element by class name all these methods are there some returns array, some return a single DOM node. So query selector or returns you the array of DOM. Document dot get element by ID will give you a single DOM node. Document dot query selector will give you a single DOM. Okay. So setting the inner, so there are different uh, methods in JavaScript which is used to do a DOM manipulation, setting the inner HTML, 
getting the ID, getting the class names, changing the class name from the class list and all. What is the difference between AMS and RAM, right? So these are the, we, we use pixels, AM, RAM, right? So both AM and RAM unit are based on the phone size CSS property. Generally we use percentage and sorry, pixels, right? So AM unit inherit their values from the phone size of the parent component, you see? And REM unit inherit their value from the phone size of the root element. That is the basic difference. Root AMS, you can call REM as a root AMS. AMS is just a relative uh, measurement. So it is getting from the parent and it is getting from the root. Okay, so see you in the next video.